Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're gonna talk about HBO Max and Peacock in the streaming wars and animation and all of that in this video. Uh, we're gonna talk about how HBO Max is really ramping up their adult animation content. They've greenlit a Velma Dinkley series. An adult Velma Dinkley series for HBO Max as well as a Clone High reboot. I don't know why uh, I don't know why anybody wants that, but uh, there we go. Uh, so we're going to talk about that, and then we're going to talk about the potential for NBC Universal and Warner Media uh, HBO Max merging. Uh, there's talk that they could actually merge at least their streaming services. This is coming from the information. This is the same site that uh, said that Warner Media was looking to sell Crunchyroll, and guess what? They sold Crunchyroll. But now they're saying that uh, HBO Max and Peacock could basically team up to try to knock out Disney Plus, knock out Netflix, because neither one of these services are doing terribly well on their own. Let's be honest, they're not. They're, they're coming nowhere close to the numbers that uh, Disney Plus and Netflix have. And I think we're going to see more of this. I think we're going to see more um, kind of mid-tier streamers uh, uh, combine, join forces because they're going to have to. You know, remember when everything used to be on Netflix, it was a whole hell of a lot easier when everything was on Netflix, but uh, I digress. So before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 175,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, first, we'll talk about the Velma series. I think uh, Variety had this yesterday, that Velma Dinkley's getting her own show. Uh, HBO Max has given a two-season order to a reboot of adult animated series Clone High, as well as a series order to standalone uh, a standalone series about Scooby-Doo character Velma Dinkley, who will be voiced by uh, Mindy Kaling. The announcements were part of a larger adult animation slate revealed by HBO Max on Wednesday. The streamer also picked up the series Fired on Mars, starring Pete Davidson, and a season two and three renewal for uh, Close Enough. Uh, season two of Close Enough will debut on February 25th on HBO Max. And it's also been confirmed the uh, development of other multiple projects, which are described below. We'll talk about that. It does seem like HBO Max is quickly becoming the place for animation, doesn't it? Uh, that's why it was so weird that uh, Warner was selling Crunchyroll. Because you would think they would want all this uh, anime too, but it doesn't seem to be the case. It seems like they're basically taking everything that would have been on Adult Swim and they're, they're putting it on HBO Max. Now, uh, the interesting thing about Velma is that we don't have Mindy Cohn. Uh, and she's been the voice actress of Velma for quite some time. I was very upset about how they treated the voice actors with the Scoob movie that they, they found out, including uh, Matt Lillard. They found out that they weren't part of the cast of Scoob via press release or via one of these, uh, uh, one of these industry rags like Variety. And it looks like a Mindy Kaling is actually going to be Velma Dinkley and not Mindy Cohn. So uh, that's kind of kind of interesting. I, I really like Mindy Cohn's uh, take on Velma. Of course, we know uh, where this is probably going to go, given that the showrunner of Mystery Inc. said that uh, Velma is gay, according to, to him. Uh, now, that was Mystery Inc. That was sort of an alternate universe, Velma Dinkley. But this is an adult show. We know what's going to happen, guys. We know what's going to happen. Uh, there you go. So that's that's in the pipeline. We're getting more Harley Quinn. We're getting a reboot of the Boondocks. Again, you want to talk about a creator being ousted. Uh, the creator of the Boondocks apparently was ousted from the Boondocks. So I'm not really looking forward to that. And uh, other, other animated shows like The Prince, uh, Santa Inc., and 10-Year-Old Tom. Uh, here are some other ones in development. Hello, Paul. Is about a neurotic millennial cat whose intense job and freeloading mouse roommate stress him out. Uh, Obi is a 30-year-old man. Uh, man-child. Okay. I thought it was a man, a 30-year-old man child chasing. Punctuation matters. Obi is about a 30-year-old man child chasing his dream to become an artist while navigating adulthood with his friends. This sounds an awful lot like uh, an awful lot like a Tumblr comic. Um this is Studio 71 is developing this one. Uh, it is, yeah, oh, it is. It's an Instagram comic strip. There we go. There we go. Uncanny Valley, executive producer Ed Helms with uh, creators, executive producers Brendan Walter and Greg uh, Jagelnitzer. 
tell the story of three awkward domestic helper robots who kill their human owners and try to assume their identities. Okay, cover is Brian Michael Bendis and David Mack adapting their acclaimed DC comic book series cover, an animated espionage thriller and conspiratorial love letter to the comic book industry that was nominated for multiple Eisners. Coming from Rooster Teeth Studios. That's all that's going to be left of Rooster Teeth is uh, Rooster Teeth Studios. So I, I am excited that uh, Warner has animation coming. Uh, again, HBO Max is probably, I would say it's probably the streamer we watch the most, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, between me and Squid King, at least, we've been watching HBO Max the most. I know Geeky's been watching a lot of Discovery Plus. Uh, she's been watching a lot of Discovery Plus, Dr. Pimple Popper. You know, ironically, she doesn't pop a lot of pimples. Um, I expected more pimple popping on Dr. Pimple Popper, and she doesn't pop nearly enough pimples, so I'm very disappointed. Anyway, the, the real news here. Uh, the real news here is that NBC Universal and uh, Warner Media might merge, or at least merge their streaming services. This was interesting. Again, this is coming from the information. They've been reliable in the past. Uh, they are a subscription website. Uh, they are a tech site. Uh, I do subscribe to them because they've been proven right on many occasions, and they were right about Crunchyroll, and they might be right about this. Uh, this was posted yesterday as Netflix and Disney cement their leads over an array of rivals in the video streaming market. Top execs at Comcast and Universal are in a quandary. Only 11.3 million households regularly watch Peacock, far fewer than using competing services, according to recent internal data viewed by the information. NBC Universal wants to ramp up Peacock's growth particularly among paying users, but without spending a lot of money. Who wants to spend money? Its solution is to strike a deal with other entertainment companies to broaden Peacock's programming or its distribution. Last month, NBC Universal unveiled programming deals for Peacock with uh, WWE and A&E. Of course, you know, they're going to become the exclusive home of the WWE. That actually is going to help them quite a bit, I think. Um, over the past several months, NBCU has pitched to Viacom CBS, among other companies, about offering their streaming services in a bundle with Peacock at a discounted rate or a broad, say, people familiar with the situation. All these efforts raise the prospect that NBC Universal could pursue a merger with another firm, such as Warner Media. That could happen. Uh, again, they already have a close relationship with Warner, uh, you know, the Harry Potter movies in Universal theme parks. Uh, they've got Scooby-Doo characters in Universal theme parks. You know, it, it could happen. Uh, there's reason to think it may happen. Before the entertainment industry veteran uh, Jeff Shell became the CEO of NBC Universal, he told colleagues that NBC Universal needed to merge with Warner Media to have enough scale to compete, save people with direct knowledge of the discussions. There's no sign that Shell has proposed a merger, and it's possible that as CEO he has changed his mind about the need for the deal, but industry executives say that discussions about partnerships often lead to broader talks about mergers. Um, people on Wall Street and in the entertainment industry say a merger of the two companies feels inevitable. We believe it's time for both AT&T and Comcast to abandon the fool's gold of vertical integration of content and distribution and merge NBC Universal with Warner Media. Uh, media analyst Rich Greenfeld with White Shed Management wrote in a report. This view reflects how much the power dynamics in Hollywood have been undermined by the growth of Netflix and cord cutting. Companies that used to be the giants of entertainment now find themselves too small. Those concerns have already prompted a wave of consolidation. Uh, Rupert Murdoch bailed himself out of Hollywood two years ago, selling most of Fox to Disney, while Time Warner sold AT&T and Viacom, merged with CBS. Uh, NBC and Warner Media are roughly equal in size. Each generated close to $30 billion in revenue last year. Each owns a major film and TV studio and a portfolio of cable channels, including news channels. Combining the two companies would produce a giant with total revenues about the same as Disney, which had $65 billion in revenue in 2020. Such a deal would also likely draw scrutiny from antitrust authorities. That's the, that's the fly in the ointment. Um, yeah, I mean, that actually... I could see them doing that. Merging Universal with Warner, they're already kind of in bed together in the theme parks. And they have the theme parks. They have the Universal theme parks. They could compete head-to-head -head with Disney. And then for another $5 billion, go out and buy up MGM so Disney doesn't get it. We don't want Disney's 007. Uh, Warner Media has its own issues, uh, which can make its parent AT&T open to a deal. The telecom giant is under enormous financial pressure to reduce its heavy debt load 
while investing billions on a new cellular spectrum for 5G services. If Warner Media's HBO Max streaming service doesn't take off, AT&T may want to partner with NBC Universal to get the benefits of scale. Warner declined to comment. Any decision uh, like this is likely at least a year away, say industry executives. Yeah, Peacock's only got 11.3 million regular viewers. Uh, Peacock says that's low. I don't watch Peacock. I don't think I've ever watched Peacock. I do watch HBO Max, but even HBO Max is not really pulling the numbers. You know, it really isn't. Even with Wonder Woman 84, is so far behind Disney Plus and so far behind Netflix at this point, as much as I like the service. I, I'm being completely honest. I'm not being, you know, a shill or anything. They send us some stuff, but, you know, I mean, if it sucked, I'd say it sucked. I don't think it sucks. I, I actually like HBO Max quite a bit, especially all their uh, animation. But they're way behind Disney, like way behind Disney. Disney Plus is up to, uh, what, 87 million global subscribers. Netflix has 203 million. HBO Max only has 17 million. Uh, 10 million people who switched from uh, the HBO cable channel to Max. So yeah, they only picked up like 7 million people. So that's the thing. I mean, th this could totally happen. Uh, this is a very realistic scenario. And I think we're going to see this. I think we're going to see as the streaming wars continue, we're going to see a lot of these smaller streamers kind of merge to compete with uh, Disney Plus and Netflix. And I think at the end of it, we're only going to have like two or three major streaming services, which might be a good thing for consumers because it really is tiresome to hear about everybody starting their own streaming service. Like you guys are not going to be Netflix. I know you're all trying to do your own thing, but you're way too late to the game. And frankly, you're not very good at it. And uh, Netflix was great when it was kind of a one-stop shop for all this content. And, and now it's not. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.